Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of CA Football's 12 Teams in 12 Day Series. I'm Bobby Broyles along with Rob Washburn. Today, we're going to preview last year's CA champs, the Maine Black Bears, and what a historic season it was for Maine a year ago, reaching the semifinals of the FCS playoffs for the first time in program history. Yeah, Maine was one of the great stories in all of FCS football last season. Picked to finish eighth in the CA preseason poll, the Black Bears opened with an impressive win over rival New Hampshire and then knocked off FBS foe Western Kentucky on the way to their first CA title since 2013. The momentum continued in the playoffs as Maine advanced to the semifinals for the first time following victories over OBC champ Jacksonville State and Big Sky co-champ Weber State and finished with a school record 10 wins. The Black Bears have a new head coach in 2019, but the transition shouldn't be, should be seamless as Nick Charlton was elevated from offensive coordinator. He played a big role in building this program and knows what it takes to keep it on top. Beginning on the offensive end of the ball, this unit brings back a lot of experience and could be one of the most potent offenses yeah. in the CA this year. Yes, yeah, seven starters are back from a main offense that seemed to get better and better as the year went along. Chris Ferguson begins his third season as the Black Bears quarterback after passing for nearly 2,400 yards and 22 touchdowns a year ago. He'll have some familiar faces on the outside with all CA receiver Ernest Edwards, who caught 53 balls for 839 yards and 10 TDs, and Jaquan Blair, who added 570 two receiving yards and five scores. At running back senior Joe Fitzpatrick returns and the Black Bears have added senior transfer Emmanuel Reed who ran for 840 yards and nine touchdowns at Buffalo in 2017 and was on the preseason watch list for the Doak Walker Award a year ago. All of those guys will operate behind a veteran offensive line that features four returning starters led by all CA performer Liam Dobson. Here is coach Charlton on what he would like from his offense in 2019. Well, I like the experience and, and I definitely like uh, the guys that have played uh, along with the guys that are coming up here. I think we have a lot of depth, which has been a challenge for us. You know, our big emphasis is going from being a solid offense to an elite dynamic offense. You know, I feel like we serviced both sides really, really well, uh, had some explosive plays and things like that, but it's time to really take that next step offensively. And with Chris, you know, I had the pleasure of working with him directly last year. He's an outstanding leader. He's everything you want as a quarterback and it's time for him to take the next step as well. So I, I love having Chris around. He's a great leader for our team, and he's a good player. So that's pretty important. On the defensive side, Maine's black hole defense <laughs> returned in a big way in 2018 as one of the best and feared units in yeah. FCS. This unit also brings back a host of playmakers and experience as well, Rob. Yeah, Maine's defense was just tremendous last season, ranking number one in the nation against the run and fourth in FCS with 47 sacks. Eight starters return, including four who earned all CAA accolades. The entire defensive line is back, topped by first-team all-conference NK on Whitaker, who had a team-high nine-and-a-half sacks, and second-team all-conference tackle Charles Mitchell. The Black Bears welcome back their top two tacklers at linebacker with second-team all-CAA pick Deshaun Stevens, who made 120 stops, and senior Taji Lowe, who contributed 85 tackles. All-American Manny Patterson and Catley Joseph are back at the cornerback spots, but the Black Bears will need to refine two new starters at safety. Once again, Coach Charlton on his defense, and if they can replicate the production from 2018. I mean, it's the guys that, that you know, were mentioned in there, of course, and, and our all-conference players. You know, some of the other guys, uh, Charles Mitchell, he was an honorable mention guy. I think he's the most underrated player in the conference. He's an excellent defensive lineman, uh, works really, really hard. And, and there's a number of younger guys that are going to be coming up and playing here as well. So do I think we can replicate what we did in 2018? I, I don't think that's really what the guys are trying to do. Th this is its own team with its own identity. We have a lot of great players who are coming back. We're trying to be the best we can possibly be, and, and hopefully that exceeds 2018. You know, but I don't think we're thinking too, too much about that. It's really on to the next one for us. A lot of veterans on both sides of the ball are back for this main team mm -hmm. as they come into this season with high expectations. What will be three things you will watch out for from the Black Bears this year? Yeah, number one, going from hunter to hunted. Mm -hmm. A year ago, Maine started the season unranked, picked to finish eighth in the CAA preseason poll. This year, the Black Bears opened the season as the defending CAA champs, ranked number seven in the stats preseason top 25 poll. Maine will be a big game on everyone's schedule, and it will be up to them to rise to the challenge and see if they can replicate the success they achieved in 2018. Beware the black hole. 
Main storied black hole defense was at its best last season, creating havoc in the opponent's backfield with 47 sacks and 117 tackles for loss while walk ranking number one in FCS against the run. There are eight starters back on that unit and it will be critical for them to maintain the tradition and set the tone once again. And number three, open up the offense. This is year three for Chris Ferguson as main starting quarterback, and he's developed into one of the league's top passers, throwing for over 200 yards six times last season and finishing second in the conference with 22 TE passes. With an experienced group of receivers back, this could be the season where he takes his game and the entire Black Bears offense to another level. Maine opens their conference title defense at home versus Sacred Heart on Friday, August the 30th at 6 p.m. on flowfootball.com. Yeah, make sure to check out our one-on-one -on -one interview with Maine defensive back Manny Patterson from Media Day, now available on cafootball.com and our social media platforms. Rob and I will return Wednesday with our 12 teams in 12-day series as we preview the New Hampshire Wildcats. You don't want to miss it. Have a great day, everyone.